Hello and welcome to the Studio Brutal video. Here I'm just going to make a quick loop with my dub techno pack. I'm just putting in a kick now, uh, which is the 808 uh, 909 one. Um, you can get the pack. There's a discount code in the comments, so yeah, use that. It's for quite a lot. It's for 60% off, so use that. Um, and there's a link to the store as well. Yeah, here I'm just putting in um, a rack. There's this dub uh, bass one, uh, which is called Dub Sub, I think. There's a couple of sort of uh, dubby basses. Um, and this is, uh, yeah, I'm just putting in a simple, it's, it's got a lot of reverb on the sub, uh, so you want space for it. I mean, if you put in a lot of notes, it's fine, but I'm just putting in a couple of sparse ones. If you put in a lot, I would I would take the reverb off. Um, and yeah, just to, just to be quick, I'm just duplicating the channel, and uh, then I'm gonna try and find a chord that I like, basically. So yeah, this this pack has I think like I think it's got 50, it's 53 racks or something like that. There's a lot of Ableton racks in it, um, which are all chord stabs, dub, uh, subs, and uh, some percussion as well. The kick is from the pack as well, and I think I'll probably put in a hi hat later. Uh, See, so yeah, I'm just dragging in a chord now. Yeah, then I'm just going to copy this and find another chord. Um, so I've got two chords. I want like them to like speak to each other, you know, like I don't know, question and reply. I don't know if it's, if it's the appropriate term to use, but I, I want um, I want to be really minimal uh, and sparse, and then be able to open them up. And I want two that sort of play off each other. So I'm like tightening the envelopes and stuff like that. So later on, I can bring them up and they can swell. Sound really big. So yeah, I'm probably just going to put this like in to sort of in a complete, completely different part of the bar. Keeping them minimal and tight and gated and short, but with lots of reverb on is normally good, I think, for this stage. And then I can I can lift up the filter later on. So yeah, then I'm going to copy that and put a third, probably the last chord in, or synth, probably a chord. Drag a chord in. this one so there's like space so like everything is going on space so there's three 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 cents but they're all sort of occupying a different space in the bar they're not they don't they're not on top of each other because with the delays they will be on top of each other so they want as much space as possible Probably copy the kick and turn it, and then make it make a hat. The kick midi, and then just make a hat. These hats are just noise, I think. Just gonna cut it. 
quite short. You can always open them up later on and automate them so they're like long. And um, especially when you build it. But yeah, for now I want them tight and short and gated. And yeah, then I'm just gonna copy this and uh, make a clap. And that'll probably be it. Just for this example. It's got everything, it's got concussion base and chords. So yeah, now I'm just going to work out uh, what I'll automate later on in the track. Um, I'll probably just, I'm just going to solo these synths and then um, tweak them a bit on the macro controls. All the on these on the pack, all the rack, all the racks have the the main controls like the filter envelope and the filter stuff and the, the reverb decay and echo and feedback and stuff and then the macros so you can just tweak them up the front so you can, obviously you can tweak anything you like but the, the main ones are up here up the front and they're the things I'm going to automate when I sequence this out I probably won't sequence it out now I'm just sort of I'm just sort of making a loop but yeah I know I know what I want to automate now um, so yeah I'll probably leave it there um, but yeah that's just a rundown of, uh, of like seven of the racks that are in the pack I'll probably put the whole track on later. I want to have a video, get some sequences to out, show the automation, everything. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, if you want the rack, it is in the comments and the description. There's a 60% discount as well. So yeah, uh, go and grab that. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions or anything, let me know in the comments below. Okay, take care. Goodbye.